There are huge disparities in the world of motorbikes and scooters. Whatever the type, all these two-wheelers can be fitted with Michelin tyres. To adapt its offer to this wide variety of requirements, Michelin has two types of tyre architecture. The bias or cross-ply structure and the radial structure. The carcass of a bias tyre consists of diagonally oriented cable plies. The plies are stacked crosswise over the direction of the cables. The structure is uniform and the tyre crown and side walls have similar mechanical properties. In a radial structure, the cables radiate around the axis of the tyre. In addition, the crown consists of plies forming a belt. The side walls and crown therefore have specific characteristics. These two structures generate different types of performance. In contact with the ground, thanks to more flexible side walls, a radial tyre crown grips the road. Its footprint is not as long as that of a bias tyre, but is wider, offering more grip at a sharper angle when taking bends. Pressure in the radial tyre contact area is more evenly distributed, which ultimately means more uniform wear. Thanks once again to its flexible sidewalls, a radial tyre offers greater ride comfort at high speed by cushioning irregularities in the road surface. A bias tyre, however, is better able to withstand a heavy load as its sidewalls are more rigid. At high speed, the profile of a bias tyre becomes deformed to the extent that it affects handling. A radial tyre, however, remains stable thanks to its crown belt with a continuous integrated cable around the circumference. As we have seen, the bias structure is suitable for vehicles travelling at a moderate speed with small or medium-sized engines and a reasonably flexible chassis. It is also suitable for heavy or heavily loaded bikes. The radial structure becomes a necessity for more powerful vehicles with an extremely rigid chassis and ones used for sport. It enables speeds in excess of 150 miles per hour to be reached. Michelin, a better way forward.